what's going on everybody y'all want to go to Ross with me today we're not gonna rub this one we are going to just ask nicely dear Ross please give us some good finds what's going on everybody Jason here welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Ross video if you're new to the channel what I do in these videos is I go into Ross and I find those rare items that they get in stock that we can flip online for a profit so if you're into that kind of content be sure to hit that subscribe button along with the bell so you know when I'm coming out with new videos all right I do have an update for you if you remember from my last video I sold these uh, cleats for a hundred bucks person got them was like oh they're light blue not blue and so they returned on product not as described on eBay so they wouldn't have to pay the return shipping I got them back, I had to wait to a certain date. I'd already called eBay and told them that light blue, blue, that's, you know, that, that doesn't make any sense. You, that's not product, not as described. They're the exact ones in the pictures. eBay's product description on the drop down only has blue. It doesn't have light blue. So I couldn't have selected light blue in there, which I didn't really think they were light blue anyway. Long story short, when the day finally came, I called eBay, they filed a case for me on it. I got a really dumb email from eBay that was like, hey, we're sorry if you, you received your item back and it wasn't still new or they damaged it or whatever you know let us know but keep in mind that there are losses to your business that you have to take from time to time and i'm like well this has nothing to do with what my case is so i replied and said what are you talking about and i explained that the person returned them as light blue not blue and did product not to describe so i would have to pay the return shipping they immediately responded said i apologize we will credit your account the ten dollars and some odd cents for shipping so I did get my money back so I guess the moral of the story is stay on eBay about issues that you're having where you know you're in the right and be stern with them um, they'll eventually uh, get tired of hearing you reply to their emails and <laughs> usually eventually side with you so luckily I got my shipping back we got this back up for sale so hopefully they'll sell soon all right it is Friday I'm on vacation but you know how I do my vacations I got to hit up Ross at least once while on vacation and it's almost two o'clock so Hopefully they've got some good stuff in stock. The parking lot is packed. Um, usually on Fridays it is pretty busy, but we're still probably in that back to school mode. So let's get in here, see what we can find. All right, we made it inside. Let's go. I will give you all the heads up that this video might be a little bit longer than normal. I actually found a bunch of stuff that we need to look up. Sorry, my mom was calling me right here, so I had to tell her I would give her a ring back. But as we look at the electronics uh, section right here, it's really been gone over um i don't know what happened if maybe pe people are buying all that back to school stuff but a lot of the electronics has been picked over there's that madden game that we saw last time it's actually two years old somebody corrected me on that one so i appreciate that uh down in the book bag section these have been gone through as well remember all these hooks were full of book bags now most of them are gone here's an eddie bauer diaper bag intrigued me a little bit 1999 ross price so i decided to look it up real quick on amazon and on Amazon, they're selling for about $37, so not a whole lot of money to be made there. All right, let's keep on moving and see what else we can find. Again, not a whole lot here in the book bags, but this huge Tommy Hilfiger bag down here kind of caught my eye. I don't know what you put in there, a body or something? I don't, I don't know, that thing's massive. Um, but there was no tags on it, so no idea what the Ross price was. Um, on that. Now we're making it down into the shoes. I'm expecting the shoes to be picked over a little bit, um, but right off the bat we find these track shoes. I know a lot of y'all have been telling me to look up track shoes. Um, these were on clearance for $9.99 and they have the spike and the spike tool, which you'll always usually find inside the shoe. Um, I didn't look those up because those actually had like a little tear on the side. I don't think I got it on the camera, um, but I ended up leaving those behind because the shoe was damaged. Um, be sure to look over all your shoes at uh, Ross. Some of them can be damaged. Um, as you see here in a minute, somebody wore the heck out of a pair and returned them. I don't know how they got away with that, but when they're worn that much, uh, they're not worth anything. And here it is. Look at the insole of those. You can see that the, the Nike symbol on the inside and the writing have been worn out. So somebody obviously wore those for a while and returned them back to Ross. So I didn't even look those up. But yeah, so far we're not finding a ton here in the shoes. Um, like I said a minute ago, hold tight. We find a bunch of stuff here in a minute. Uh, that we'll go over but so far we're now down in the common sizes probably like your 10 10 and a half and you know we're seeing RBX a lot of Levi's in here today um, we are seeing some Nike um, here's another pair of track shoes I did not look those up but they were only 16.99 I 
I know a lot of y'all flip those and make some decent money on them. Um, I'm kind of more in the market of looking for something I can make $40, $50 or more off of because I do have a lot of inventory right now because I have other avenues that I get inventory like thrift stores and things like that. Uh, Ross is just one of the avenues that um, I do get inventory from. Here's some BK British Nikes, $24.99. Didn't even know they were still around. And then if you look up here, you will notice, and actually there's a pair right there, but up here up top, here's a pair of these Nike Combat Boots. I have bought these Nike Combat Boots before when they were on clearance last year for about 30 bucks, and I made some really good money off of these. But let's take a look at these now and analyze them. So there's $69.99 is your Ross price. If you look on eBay, there's currently 251 of these listed. Looks like they're asking 100 or more for them. So let's go over to the solds. Looks like they are selling for a little above $100 with 123 of these sold in the past 90 days. So you're probably thinking, hey, Jason, that's a buy. Well, I didn't buy them and let me explain why. So if we pay $70 for them, uh, they're not going to be under the athletic shoes on eBay, so you're going to have to pay 10% fees. Um, if we pay 70 bucks for them, when you add tax in, that's 75. If you sell them for 110, you know, after 13 dollar eBay fees and what you paid, you're only making like 20, 30 dollars off these shoes. So this was a no go for me. All right, let's keep on moving along. We do find a few more pair of shoes here in a minute, so y'all hold tight. But I want to show y'all what's on the shelves today. Here's a pair of bread filas for $27.99. Actually, I thought they didn't look that bad. Um, I haven't owned a pair of filas in a while, but they could, could be decent shoes. I'm not sure. But as we move along here, we're starting to get into the larger sizes. These are the ones that you got to kind of be careful with. Remember, the larger size basketball shoes will tend to sell um, because basketball players have bigger feet but they also could take a little while for them to sell, so just keep that in mind. But as we go here, I find a pair of Doc Martens. Uh, a lot of comments in my videos saying, hey, always pick up those Doc Martens, they're worth good money. Uh, so here's a pair for $49.99. I really like the colorway on these, that brown color. Um, I couldn't find them anywhere on eBay, um, so I ended up leaving them behind. Plus, they were size 13, so might have been a tougher sell being such a big size. All right, check these out. Here are a pair of Fry Boots. I have seen Fry's at Ross before, $110 Ross price, but you can tell with the creases there on these that these have been worn and returned. So I ended up putting these back. Let me know, are you finding fry boots at your Ross and are you picking them up for that price? All right, as we head, head down to the kids' shoes, we gotta take a look at the socks. That's pretty neat, you got a little monkey there going to the moon, uh, which a monkey was the first person on the moon, right? I mean, that's that's what we flew up there for a, for a test ride, so I thought those were kind of neat. Um, but we'll go ahead and go down here to the uh, to the grade school kid shoes. Uh, these I expect to be extremely picked over with um, it being school time and back to school. But I actually find a few things down here that we uh, take a look at. And right off the bat, I find something um, right up here up top. Here's another pair of Doc Martens. Uh, these are a black pair. Seems like my Ross had a lot of Doc Martens in today. Um, I really like this all black colorway. Seems like that would be a good seller. Uh, these were $10 more than the other ones we found. These were $59.99. And these were a size six men. So being that small of a size, I decided to go ahead and put these back. All right, let's keep on going through the grade school uh, kids shoes here, youth. Uh, Y'all let me know in the comments what your Ross is looking like. Is it starting to look better? Mine's definitely starting to look better. I think once we get the kids back to school, we're gonna be finding some gems in our Rosses, so y'all be sure to keep on hitting them up and uh, looking for those uh, special finds. Up here at top, we got a pair of Doc Martin Industrials. These are $54.99. Again, th those are gonna be youth size or more than likely a five and a half, six in men, so those are tough sell. I have bought men's like size shoes six before, and wow, they're a tough sell. They, they did eventually sell, but they set for a really long time. All right, not a whole lot here in the kids' shoes today. Let's move on over to the ball caps. All right, you know I like looking at the ball caps. Um, there's a Puma, a Real Tree. I'm looking for the NFL one since the NFL season's uh, closely uh, coming up, and we just had our first preseason game last night. I think it was Steelers in Dallas. There's a New York Giants on field hat, ten dollars and ninety nine cents. Ross price forty dollars is your retail. Thought that was a pretty decent deal if you're a Giants fan. Uh, that was definitely a good looking hat. Again, we got all these hats over here too. And then we got another section of hats right here. Um, but really today, not a whole lot. I do like this all black Puma hat. I think that's a really neat hat. $10.99 is your Ross price on that. But other than that, really no hats that we can flip today. 
All right, we're now down in the lady shoes. Hopefully they'll come through for us today. Again, there's those DKNY boots uh, that we've seen the past couple months at Ross. Looks like not a single pair have sold yet. Um, these are the five and a half uh, section of women's shoes. I'm, I think that's kind of an average size for women. I'm not sure, um, but I always start in this section and then kind of loop around the corner. But uh, as you can see, there's not a ton of stuff on the shelves. Uh, there's a little more over here than normal. That size 12, usually there's nothing there. So at least I got a few pair of shoes there today. I uh, thought these might be Ed Hardy's with that design. Some Ed Hardy stuff can sell pretty well, but those are not Ed Hardy shoes. Those were uh, an off brand. But as we're looking again, you know, seeing, still seeing a lot of the sandals, the summer shoes and stuff, um, but not a whole lot so far for us to look up. So check out these shoes in the women's. These are like some mustard yellow Converse Chuck Taylors, but they got some damage to them, as you can see right there. They got some brown spots. I don't think that's part of the shoe. These are $24.99. Um, these might have been worth a little bit of money. I tried to find them online. I couldn't find any on eBay, but I had to leave them behind with the damage. All right, it's Athletic Tops time, and look at this. It's like there's nothing on the racks. I thought this Adidas shirt was pretty cool, this polo. Um, it just had a unique look to it. Uh, $65 retail from Adidas, Ross price $14.99. So not a whole lot going on there. Here's a uh, NBA branded screen printed Curry jersey. Um, but look at all the gaps in the shirts. Man, I haven't seen this Ross this low on inventory in a long time, but hold tight. I actually find a few things uh, as we round the corner. Uh, but we'll go ahead and kind of flip through. This is what I do each time. I'm looking through each shirt, seeing if there's any uh, any hidden treasures in there, any jerseys. Speaking of jerseys, again, another NBA screen printed one. But as we round the corner, see if y'all can catch it. Do y'all see it yet? Do you see it? Oh, I see it. I'm going for it. <laughs> it is a football jersey. I have not found a football jersey in forever. And guess what? It's Nike. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I finally found a jersey. So this is going to be a Nike on-field uh, jersey. This is going to be a T. Higgins. 120 retail from Nike. $39.99 is your Ross price. T. Higgins was a rookie last year. Um, I did not pick this up. I probably should have, but there were no solds on this. People asking around 100 on eBay. All right, so check this out. My Ross has begun putting out uh, jackets again, which makes me super excited, even though it's not quite jacket season. Uh, 170 retail on this, $29.99 Ross. This is an Adidas Alzheimer's jacket. People are asking 60 to 100 on eBay, but we got no solds. All right, next up we have this USA Volleyball jacket. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see there with the, uh, the logo, but it was $100 from Adidas. $29.99 Ross price, selling for about $40 on eBay. All right, we are out of the Ross, and even though I came out empty-handed, they had some super cool stuff in there, so I'm excited that some good stuff is headed to Ross. Um, a few of the things we found, we found some fry boots, but at $110, I'm not sure they're worth it. I know fry boots and fry shoes can go for a lot of money. I didn't look those up because they had obviously been worn and returned. Um, we found a bunch of Doc Martens, but unfortunately, the size on the Doc Martens, one was a 13 and one was a six in men's. Those aren't really good sizes, although I probably could have bought both of them and sold them for over a hundred. Um, let me know in the comments if you're flipping Doc Martens from Ross consistently. Um, are you getting over a hundred dollars for them? Although Doc Martens would not fall in the athletic shoes category. Still curious if any of y'all are getting, uh, are, are picking up Doc Martens and flipping them for a good price. But I'm super excited about what I saw in there. Even though I came out empty-handed, we saw, I finally saw a Nike jersey, <laughs> T. Higgins, who was a rookie last year. Um, you know, unfortunately there were no sales on that jersey, but it was still cool to see a $120 jersey in Ross. Finally, I, haven't, I don't think I've seen a good jersey all year. The jackets are back. Don't forget to check your, your coats and jackets. Um, mine had a bunch of really nice jackets in there. None of them really worth flipping but it looks like they're starting to get some good stuff in. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button for me. Also, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but we re recently went over 2,000 subscribers, so I greatly appreciate that. Channel is growing super fast, and that is all because of y'all, so I really appreciate all y'all watching my videos and subscribing to the channel. So I hope everybody's having a great week out there. Good luck reselling. Mm -hmm.